in a way, the universe chose me. That first day in the Hayden Planetarium at age nine, as a kid, and I looked up and the lights dimmed and the stars came out. And I was called by the universe. I became a student of the universe with the ambition of one day being one of its participants. It's just me on this mountain and the universe. And I look up and I just think to myself, there are photons that have been traveling for 30,000 years. And I'm sort of snatching them from this journey and planting them into my digital detector. But so, so there's not only the fact that I'm on the mountaintop, there's the knowledge and the feeling that I'm reaching out to the universe with these methods and tools of science. We can trace the elements. They were forged in the centers of stars, high mass stars that went unstable at the ends of their lives. They exploded, scattered their enriched contents across the galaxy, sprinkled into gas clouds that then collapsed and formed stars and planets and life. There are people who say, this makes me feel small because I need to see the immensity of the cosmos. And I say, no, you're, you're not thinking about it the right way. And I thought to myself, there's something wrong here, because why does he feel small, but when I look up in the universe, I feel large. The molecules in my body are traceable to phenomena in the cosmos. And when I reflect on our kinship with the cosmos, when I do the calculation that shows that a 15-ton meteorite that we have in the center of the Rose Center for Earth and Space, it's an iron meteorite, when I do the calculation that shows that if you take all of the iron from the hemoglobin of the people in the tri-state area of New York City, you can recover that much iron out of their blood and realize that the iron from that meteorite and the iron from your blood has common origin in the core of a star. That makes me want to grab people in the street and say, have you heard this? It's quite literally true that we are stardust. In the highest exalted way one can use that phrase. If you let them, let them know that it's not simply that we're in the universe, but in fact, given the chemistry of it all and the nuclear physics of it all, not only are we in the universe, the universe is in us.